All right, you guys. So, as you know, we did just get back from Sturgis. Uh, been home for about a week now. Was on night turns. Uh, got switched over to day turn shift. Funny story on the way home from Sturgis. Well, I guess it's not too funny of a story. Uh, the tie-down strap on the Lowrider S broke. The bike fell against the wall, uh, ripped one of the grips apart, scratched the mirror. Uh, but there was no real damage to the bike. I kind of, as soon as I felt the trailer shift, I went back there. So we got that bike back up. The good news is the first day that I got home, I ordered 12 inch T-bars for the bike so it's an all-in-one kit comes with all the extended cables so I'm hoping that it has a clutch cable extension that's the only thing I didn't see mentioned in there if it does not this video may take a little bit longer or we'll have to have a part two to the video uh, which will show when I get the clutch cable extension in and actually installing the bars so I'm gonna cut it out here. When I come back, I'll show you guys the bars. I'll show you how they come, how they're packaged, and we'll go over what's gonna be needed for the next step here. So stay tuned. We're gonna get some 12 inch T-bars on the Lowrider S. We're gonna get her stanced up so that I'm sitting in a more aggressive uh, riding position. And we'll let you know how it goes and how it feels on the bike. All right, you guys, so it was honestly only about 15, 20 minutes after I turned this camera off and UPS pulled up, so, all right, so got these 12-inch T-bars, I got them in the gloss black, so this came as an entire kit, it should have everything here with it. So it looks like the bars are wrapped completely separate and then there's another little packet here that's got my cable. So just want to open this here with you and see what all is included in this kit. Now this came from Dominator Industries. I've done a lot of research on their touring model bars and it seems like all the reviews on the touring model bars are amazing. So I wanted to give them a shot, see what happens. If I don't like it, uh, I'll put some different ones on. But so far, these look really nice, you guys. I'm a big fan of the T-bars, especially on the more sporty bikes like the Lowrider S. So I can tell they look pretty solid. Quality feels great. I mean, these day and night difference from the built wells that I had on my last Dyna before that one got hit by a truck. Man, I could already tell these are going to be amazing here. So yeah, that looks like it's going to feel great. We'll see when we get them on. They have about two inches of sweep back. So you can see they kind of sweep backwards about two inches my bike sits kind of i guess there's like a an angle to the front so they'll come back a little bit so i'm i'm hoping to get my arms up a little bit and out a little bit in front of me so that was the reason why i went with these ones so right now the lowrider s comes with a four inch riser and the bars are about 3.85 inches tall uh, so this right here is going to add about four inches more of height. So I'm going to go from down here probably to like right here, which is what I want. It'll be more comfortable for me. So now we'll see what came in this little package here. Does not look like there's uh, any instructions at all with this. So... Here is what looks like my brake line. So they give you an extended brake line, which is nice. It's all black. It will match everything else on the bike. So that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to go with any stainless steel braided cables. 
uh, because I don't plan on replacing all of them. And I think it would just look odd with just the brake lever being stainless steel. So this doesn't really look too much longer, but we'll see because I think this just has to go down to, yeah, that should work fine there. See what else they got in here. So they gave me some stickers. That's always cool. I uh, don't really think there's a clutch cable extension. Man, if, they, if there's a clutch cable extension in here, you guys, that's a $120 part in itself. So if there is a 4-inch clutch extension in here, this product is worth its weight in gold. I paid $389 for the handlebars with all the wiring and... Uh, there wasn't one in that bag, but here's all my extended wiring for the handlebars itself. Uh, no way, you guys. Yeah, clutch cable extension. This is $120 in itself, so if you subtract this $120 from the price of these handlebars, oh man, I think I even had a discount on these. I think I got these for $380. I don't have my phone on me right now or I would look it up. But dude, $380 I think is what I paid. That's after shipping and everything uh, from them. And it comes with all my extended cables. It even comes with even comes with a little tube for bleeding your front brake so you guys I am super excited about this so got all my cable got the clutch extension I was so nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to ride this bike tomorrow uh, so what I'm gonna do now you guys is I'm going to fast forward to me getting this installed um, I got to go pick my son up from school here and then I'm hopping right on this because uh, I've been so excited to get bars on this bike and the fact that it comes with the clutch extension, it comes with my brake and my cable extensions. Let's go. Let's do this. I want to get on the road. I want to ride this bike to work tomorrow and I want to look cool doing it. So tonight we are installing some bars on the bike. If you have a 2020 Lowrider S, make sure you go to Dominator Industries website check out their all-in-one kits this part right here 120 bucks subtract that from your 400 you're at 280 dollars uh man subtract all your cables that's like you're getting these bars right here it's like you're getting these bars for 180 dollars if you buy all these cables separately that's what you're running so man super excited you guys Oh, I can't wait to get this bike to where I've wanted it for so long. It's going to be much more comfortable. All right, you guys. So took me a little over a week to get this video up. I do apologize for that. I've been working on filming this video for a week. So you guys will already have seen the unboxing. I'm going to put that in here first. I was super excited about these bars. So ordered some 12 inch t-bars from dominator industries they make some pretty good handlebars uh, for harley davidson motorcycles so i ordered the entire kit and it was supposed to be really easy to internally wire these well the day that i did the unboxing i sat in the garage for four and a half hours trying to internally wire these uh, every method I could try. Uh, I used some mechanics wire. I used fishing line. I used everything. So the only cables that I did manage to get in were the uh, throttle cable, which I really do like the electronic throttle. So I got that wired down through uh, the controls and the turn signal wires, I just ran those uh, external and zip tied them. They look super clean, super happy with how it turned out. But unfortunately, 
that day I was going over trying to install these after four and a half hours of trying to fish those wires through the bars. I was trying to get the brake line uh, attached and the Harley Davidson ones from the factory, this junction box here for your front brake lines, uh, these pieces are solid, the two pieces that go down to your front rotors, and it's very tight uh, where the cable needed to uh, connect in. So I was actually using the wrench and trying to get in there to break it loose. Uh, it was on there super tight when it did break loose. The front brake caliber line broke off. So like I said before, I like to upgrade things when they do break. Uh, so since that one broke, I was not gonna go with the Harley one. So I ordered a Magnum cable set this is the steel braided front brake lines and then it is uh, coated in a black vinyl to match the rest of the bike so it looks super clean. The handlebars are tall, they're great. I went and ripped this bike around last night. I'm, you know, sitting perfect on it. I'll, I'll show you guys. So it's, it's got me stanced absolutely perfect. My hands are just a hair below my shoulders. So that helps a ton. Um, I do physical labor for a living. Uh, I am a laborer out of uh, our local laborers union hall here. So my body's always hurting, I'm always tired. So I was riding this bike in Sturgis and man hitting all them corners and having my son on the bike and having my arms way down here and trying to lean in i was getting pain in my shoulder like right in between uh my shoulder blades on my left hand side from a previous injury i had and uh i decided to run the taller bars to get some more comfort uh i put the taller bars i have uh this combination here is about eight and a half inches i'm running two inch uh, tracker bars and I'm running six and a half inch risers so about eight and a half inches here so these bars here are 12 inches they put my hands right where they need to be uh, it feels absolutely amazing so just wanted to show you guys that I was gonna do a video of the install but after all the crazy stuff that happened and me filming everything myself uh, I did not want to bore you guys with a 12 hour video of me breaking my brake lines and not being able to internally wire my controls, but we'll get you a closer look of this. All right, so as you guys can see, it is quite a bit taller than what they previously were. It looks absolutely amazing with that Sawicki pipe and them bars on it. I am super excited. This is how I've wanted the bike set up since I got it. You guys can see on here, I just ran those cables right down through, zip tied them, but I made it clean. So from the front, you can't see anything. This is that Magnum brake line. This thing is gorgeous. The way that it goes in here, uh, if you guys know the Harley junction box and how that goes in, every one of these actually screws on. So gives you a lot more leeway with it. The bike looks super clean with these bars on it. I am impressed. The way that it handles and rides is amazing. So leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys like these bars. Do you like the way it looks? Do you like the setup? Uh, give me some honest feedback. My wife said they look weird. Uh, she's got giant ape hangers on her. She's got like 16 inch ape hangers. They're super wide. She likes the way it feels. I like mine more narrow. I like to turn and, and lean in more. So I like the way it rides. It is taking a little getting used to because the geometry of the bike is a little different now, at least for my riding position. It keeps me more straight up instead of before I was kind of slouched over. I had to lean forward to grip them bars. So 
Now my back is perfectly straight, I'm up, it's much more comfortable. I'm gonna crush a lot more miles and I'm gonna do it uh, with a little more ease on my body. So, all right you guys, 12 inch Dominator Industries uh, bars. We'll get you some more footage here coming up. Thank you guys for watching.